today we learn to understand how to manage mappings in sap central finance so what we need to do is we we may be able to we may be able to delete change upload display all the mapping actions so all the mapping scenarios so options is we have a transaction code i will type it down now fins underscore c fin underscore map underscore manage <coughs> So this is the transaction code you go in inside and mapping is always by a combination of the source system so here i'll take an example of company code and i will select my source system and i mark in our case it is ec0 and if i want to display okay i want to display the mapping so here i have an options action display mapping so here i can say okay display everything so these are the mappings maintained now let's take an example first line i want to delete it yeah so what i need to do is in case of deletion or new upload i need to generate a template so it will save the excel file or csv file on my desktop then i can run the operation so i can say here uh, i can select the lab location on my desktop and say company code mapping yeah select this and i just change the comma to make it simple excel and i say okay save it it will ask some questions standard no worries we say okay and now the template is saved so you can see at the bottom there is a message generated so first i need the value so i will say okay 1062 to 1063 i want to delete this okay so i go in my template here is my template as you can see i just generated i will say 1062 to 1063 i will save it and close it that's okay i close it now i go back to my central finance and i say okay i want to delete mapping because it is already there so i cannot do it again so i say okay delete mapping so the moment i upload the value it will system will delete it but i still do it in the test run i say okay you see now values deleted so system is going to delete 1062 to 1063 if i go remove test run now and execute it same time same message will come but now it is not a test run so actually it is deleted if i see now display i should not have 1062 and 1063 it is deleted similarly if you want to upload lot of other mappings i'll just take the same example you go to the option of upload mapping and you upload the same file for example in our case we have one company code you might have 100 company code upload so now you see zero was uploaded there is an error mapping doesn't exist mapping value in the csv file does not exist in source system so central finance does the existence check as well in the source system whether value exists or doesn't exist and uh, we will <coughs> check the value we will go to ecc system we will sc16n we will go to t001 i think it value well, should exist it's a unique error uh, 1062 doesn't act exist actually so we will for the sake of taking it we will take this one uh 1 1000 yeah we will take 1000 in the template we will change the template now and we will make it 1000 i go again and i say upload uploaded so now 1000 is uploaded with 1063 if i come back again and i say display mappings now i will have my 1000 updated with 1063 so this is basically you have managed the mappings you have an option of displaying mapping you have an option of generating template which will help you to upload 
or delete mapping so template is just a one option with which you do upload or delete you can download also you see here you can click on download and you say now I will say CC map for example I want to download everything in there in what is now uploaded in the system I want to download it I will close this CC CC map if I go here system downloaded everything and it gave me a clear picture <coughs> what is my source system what is my source company code and what is my target company code map so that's how you can download the mapping so this way guys you have to you can use this uh, very simple transaction code and upload download functionality i will use uh, refer the t code again it is fins underscore cfin underscore map underscore manage i hope you like the video thank you so much